Okay. Not only I'm one burger. Ready. I was born ready. But two burgers. Smack. Pretty good. Uh oh. No, it's breaking. Come on, burger. All right. Welcome to Night In, Night Out, the show where we compare a home-cooked tasty recipe to a night out at a fancy restaurant. Today we're going on not one, but two dates, and then at the end we're each going to pick which one was the better date. This week's episode, burgers. Delicious, juicy, Veggie succulent. burgers. Beef, I was gonna say beef. I don't actually eat red meat, so that throws a wrench into things. We're gonna be making regular burgers, but we're also gonna be making veggie burgers. Mm-hmm, all right, let's go to the store. All right. First things first. Uh, beef. It's cold over here. I'll just get standard. I'm gonna stand in the warmer part of the aisle, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh my God, look at that. That's not even gonna fit on a bun. That's a big burger. There we veggie go. Veggie burger. You know what we need? What? Cheese. 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 Let's go for the cheese. Look at all the cheese. Cheese! 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 <laughs> yeah, real. Yes? I like your buns. Well, thank you. <laughs> Good to go? Good to go. Let's make these burgers. I'm gonna be making a bacon cheddar stuffed bomb burger. And I will be making virtually the same thing, but with a portobello mushroom. Okay, so let's make our filling. Cream cheese. A little bit of green onions. Cheese. cheese. Smash, smash, smash. Bean is very patiently waiting for some cheese. Uh, actually, I think he's waiting for bacon. Ready? 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 Catch it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Run, James, puppy! Beanie loves bacon. Time to stuff my burger. Yeah, smack it all together. Tasty would be proud. Tasty would be proud. Now, I'm going to bread this. Bread it. Flour. Oh my god. Egg. And now the bread crumb. Oh yeah. And now it's time to cook my burger. Oh yeah. It's time for my diner smash. Let's smash. Wait for the flip. Hey. We don't fry things very often. We really don't. It's sort of like a special occasion, occasion yeah. thing. Oh, oh my God. man. That is good. Oh. oh. I've never done anything that beautiful before. <laughs> That is uh, nice melty cheese. That is a there. real nice melty cheese. Let's customize it. Okay. Let's put on our toppings and eat this bad boy. What? Look at that. It's like, it's like cheesy on the inside, burger on the outside. This is a lot of pressure. Yes, burger. Ready? Oh. Mm. Oh my god. I'm gonna cry. I've never made something this good. Obviously we did well with the, the patty situation. Right, and you know it's all fresh. We sliced this tomato today. It's like fried mm. on the outside, so there's like that added Crunch. level of deliciousness. Um, I know you love fried things. I love fried things, <laughs> actually. Uh, Don't you think that eating a burger is kind of sexy? I mean, I mean, look at this. Absolutely. <laughs> what is it that makes this burger so good? I feel like it's all the levels of a good bun. Oh. We've got good lettuce. It's like springy. Legitimately one of the best burgers I've ever mm. had. Pretty strong showing from the Night In Burger. Okay, well, finish up that burger, Ariel, because we're getting more burgers. Ready, go. Oh, yes, so oh, we look good. We are ready to get our burgers on. I'm so ready to go. So I don't know if I told you, but these burgers are Beverly Hills burgers. Beverly Hills burgers. Yeah, these are fancy All burgers. All I knew was I needed to dress up. Mm -hmm. So we are going to the Peninsula Hotel Ooh, in Beverly Hills. The Peninsula. Yeah. So Ariel, when you're going out for burgers, what do you look for? I'm going out to In-N-Out, Shake Shack, something simple but delicious. When I go out to burgers, I want something like elevated. Wait, hold on. You did not just fart. I just like farted. So I'm sorry. Good, come it on. was a lot of cheese in that burger. Okay, I think it's gone. So uh, we're here. It is gorgeous. This is our car. This is their car. 
<laughs> Hello, Chef, how's it going? Pleasure, welcome in. Ned. Hello, I'm David. Ariel. Welcome in. My name is David Codney, and I'm the executive chef of the Pencil of Beverly Hills. We are Five Star Five Diamond Hotel. Wow. It's it's lovely. I mean, this is our first time here. We're blown away. Why is the Night Out Burger going to win? Because it's our burger. Now, I like my burgers a little bit more on the rare side. Uh, some people don't. This whole patty, you can see how it's wiggly. And the secret to this is you don't want to bring out any myosin inside of the beef. Myosin is the protein that's found inside. It's a very technical term for a sticky substance, right? Oh. We don't want to push down on it. We don't want to rush it. This is burgers. Why don't you want to smash it down? You don't want to push all those juices out. Good smash. Is Smashing is always a bad idea. So it gets spongy, and what happens when it gets spongy, the burger shrinks up a lot. That's happened to me before. You have shrinkage problems. Oh yeah. Yes. Shrinkage problems. Yes, we've been there. Well, not all the time, you guys. <laughs> Only on cold days. This right here is a three-year-old cheddar. This was a bottom radiating grill, and then we have a thing called a salamander, which would be a top radiating grill. Then you take your burger, right? Gently place her on. Look how nice. Some sliced uh, tomatoes we go down through, some bib lettuce. That is a tasty burger. That is, that is a tasty burger. burger. Well, so I don't actually eat red meat. I'm sorry to hear that. I appreciate that everybody loves red meat. I'm all about the veggie burger. So what are we doing today? We are making vegetable burgers. Because not everyone enjoys beef. So we have black beans, some corn, roasted of course, some quinoa. And then this stuff is the secret ingredient. I won't tell you that it's corn flour. <laughs> and then some of this stuff. This is what's called salt, because we want it to season every bite when you go through. And then just a real quick mix. Cast iron has amazing ability to cook things very evenly mm -hmm. and has this heat distribution that goes in. See how nice and hot she is, right? Inside the pan, you're good to go. So this is the texture we're looking for. That's yeah. the crispy goodness, the crunchiness. We want our veggie burger to have some tooth to it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a lot of veggie burgers have really turned into something that's just glutinous mass that's weird. So now that the veggie burger is done, we actually add a little bit of homey cheese. Wow, oh, look how nice this is, right? Mind blown. Look at this out of left field. This just got so much better. Now, did you have an avocado on your burger this morning? I don't think so. Uh, no, no, failed. We want texture, we want flavor. It should taste good. Yep. Oh. Just because it's a vegetable burger doesn't mean it should be bad. Hmm. Yeah. And so our, our whole goal here for all of the food, not just the burgers, is to really sit down and really, you want what you want to eat. Oh, look at it. So look, when you push down that, oh. Oh, no. That is just flavor. Let's eat this burger. Wonderful. So windswept, my hair is just like flowing in the wind. Happy date night. <laughs> Love fries. I'm ready to dig into this juicy burger. I'm ready. Yeah? Oh, savor no. it for a minute. Just <laughs> savor it. It is just so juicy, mm. and the lettuce is so crisp and refreshing. Why did I smash it? <laughs> Why? I just smashed all my juices away. But now you know. Okay, my turn. Yeah. This is sur a surprisingly juicy meatless burger. Really? Everything is staying together really well. It all turns into this like, this one beautiful bite mm. right here. Yeah. And that cheese. That cheese, that cheese? really makes yeah. it. The only thing I'm missing is my swimsuit mm -hmm. and my pepper. Yeah. I don't know how we're gonna choose. But I don't know how we're gonna choose either. We have to choose a winner. Are we going night in or are we going night out? Which one was the better date? The burger at the peninsula was so juicy, like the juiciest ever. Yeah. But then also the burger at home at the time was the juiciest burger ever. And it had cheese. <laughs> I still can't get over how mind-blowingly good the burger was at the peninsula hotel. It really hotel. was. But anything would have been good there. And you know, I was almost like, I should be eating a burger here. Mm. I should be having yeah. like lobster bisque yeah. or something like that. Like crab caviar. Okay, let's each say our winner on three. Okay. One, two, three. Night in. Night in. <laughs> oh man, oh wow. Why? Like burgers are such a homey, comfortable thing. Eating it in basically my sweatpants was just the way I want to eat a burger. Thanks for watching Night In, Night Out, guys. Comment below which you would prefer, the night in or the night out. And we'll also be posting our recipes. If you try any of them, be sure to post some photos. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. I think those police cowboys are kind of fun. It's like two fantasies in one. Policeman, Policeman and cowboy. And cowboy. Together.
No, all you need is like, he also fights fires. Police cowboy Police firefighters? Police cowboy firefighters. Slash strippers? Oh yeah, all of those things are strippers. Oh yes!